Days later, Reagan admitted arms had been shipped to Iran to forge a better relationship, but denied they were arms for hostages. In spite of the wildly speculative and false stories about arms for hostages and alleged ransom payments, we did not repeat, did not trade weapons or anything else for hostages, nor will we. Reagan had absolutely convinced himself, as much as he had convinced himself that SDI, once he believed in it, that we had this wonderful system in place, he had convinced himself that he was not dealing with the, with the kidnappers. He had promised that he would never deal with the people who had taken the Americans hostage. He had convinced himself that he was dealing with these Iranian moderates and, and that he was, he was dealing with the middlemen. He was dealing with the people who were dealing with the kidnappers. The American middle had been confounded by this patriotic president who had won on standing tall, who was found to be paying tribute to the enemy in a kind of a pusillanimous way. Reagan had questions to answer. President, how would you assess the credibility of your own administration in the light of the prolonged deception of Congress and the public in terms of your secret dealings with Iran, the disinformation? The record shows that every time an American hostage was released, there had been a major shipment of arms just before that. Are we all to believe that was just a coincidence? What would be wrong with saying that a mistake was made on a very high-risk gamble so that you can get on with the next two years? <laughs> because I don't think a mistake was made. 